Hello there guys, how's it going? So I thought I'd just do a quick video on some of the things I'm doing for wildlife at my allotment. Um, you may get some ideas from this. It's just things that I'm doing here. Uh, one of my passions is wildlife, as it were. Um, so I try to garden in a way which helps it, um, as opposed to something that may not help it. <laughs> Being good politely. So one of the things you'll notice when you enter this site, and I'm just cautious that the wind is picking up, because it may rain, and the noise you'll hear is my greenhouse, which might not stay up for too long. Okay. Right, so, one of the things you'll notice when you come into the allotment site is the edible perennial hedgerow. Now, this is a food forest, so there's no forest is a method of planting crops uh, based on a forest ecosystem. Um, so you find you have all the different niches of the forest. So for example, your canopy would be your uh, fruit trees. And what you're essentially doing is you're planting edible crops in each of the different niches in a forest ecosystem. So our fruit trees that you see around us is our canopy, then our fruit bushes, our cardoons would be our next layer and then the undergrowth um, around there would be our strawberry plants and whatnot. That's just a really oversimplified uh, view of what food forest is. But essentially for wildlife, how this helps is in several ways. So in order for me to increase the uh, pollination of the crops in the food forest, because some of them have you know, things like black currants and whatnot, which obviously need pollinators to come in, I've planted a lot of different flowers. Now, what you see around the uh, edible perennial hedgerow are things like daffodil bulbs, and you'll see tulips around here, and snowdrops, and these are all planted so that they are flowers for wildlife to attract the wildlife to come in to the allotment to then pollinate the crops. So, growing in this fashion is also a way that you can actually mix in growing flowers with your actual crops and you actually can do this as well this is a beautiful thing putting in uh, flowering bulbs or whatnot takes no harm or no nutrients away from the other crops you're actually growing so this is one way that wildlife has helped here now having all these different crops in the edible red hedgerow means that there are a lot of different flowering types. so different crops will flower during different parts of the year which is great for pollinators because that means there is a source of nectar and whatnot throughout the whole year down the allotment. Now even now in winter there are things flowering we have down here. So having a, a section or garden for growing perennials, perennial crops is a great way to actually grow the flowers amongst those crops which is one of the things we do here at the allotment. So that may be something you may wish to consider um, going forth. Um, I like to always underplant stuff so for example you see around I have Blackthorn, slow berries in big containers that they're underplanted with daffodils. You'll see uh, snowdrops, you'll see crocus amongst the hedgerow. I always try to see what I can actually grow um, underneath other things uh, because at this time of the year things are dormant, so uh, you can have a look around to see what you can actually plant um, underneath them. So, this is one of the ways that I'm going to uh, help wildlife on my site. Now, the other way the edible perennial hedgerow helps wildlife is that it also provides a source of shelter and nesting or nesting material so some of the fruit trees will get birds nesting in here uh, eventually haven't had it yet although I don't actually know yet to be honest but that's one way um, also some of the debris so you get things like the cardoon flowers so when they die off that is material nesting material for various birds and small mammals as well and you just get a lot of dead organic matter which is used as a mulch which um, can provide a place for various critters to hibernate um, that those critters will then also be beneficial in the sense that they will predate on other pests of the garden so these are the ways that the having like a, a perennial area in your garden uh, of perennial crops with flowers um, you know, are, are a great way to help wildlife. I'm just really mindful now because the weather is starting to clamp down 
I see a few specks of rain. I'm just watching my camera as I'm doing this. Hopefully it doesn't rain. So yeah, the first thing is growing flowers amongst edible perennials it is one of the ways of helping wildlife and having a dedicated area for these crops. 